Sparkle is all about managing your quantities and data in one central place. And in this video, we're going to talk about three fundamental concepts that help you work with your quantities and data. We're going to talk about properties, a very fundamental concept. Then we're going to talk about cell values for your tables. And then in the end, we're going to talk about the breakdown feature. So let's go. In Sparkle, you can select an element simply by clicking on it. And on the right side here, you will see what's called a properties panel. It's divided into three sections here. You can see the information panel, which shows you some basic information like the category and which floor or level the element is residing. And you also have the quantities section here. The quantities that you see here has Sparkle calculated purely based on the geometry that is uploaded. You can actually click on these numbers themselves and visualize how exactly we did the calculations. So if I click gross area number here, you'll see I get this green area. So if I click the net area, for instance, you'll see it's still a similar area, but it's now without the door. So the properties panel can show you basic information like name or type, but also quantities and visualize exactly how they've been calculated. If you want to see all the different BIM properties for the element, you can change to the BIM tab here. And here you'll see all the different property sets and the corresponding properties. All the different data that you see in the properties panel can be used in tables. And that's where cell values comes in. So let's just create a new table. Let's call it walls. And let's use Copilot to just do internal walls. So when you're creating new elements in Sparkle, there is already some existing properties assigned to the item. The first column here is the name of the item. This is what we wrote ourselves. The quantity column represents the base quantity for your item. So for walls, it might be the area, the net area for the wall. For some concrete slab, it might be the volume. Or maybe for doors, it might be the number of doors. So in a single column, you might have different units based on the main quantity that is uh, re being reported by your item so that you avoid getting things like this where you need different columns for different calculations and you need to change it up in Excel and do some manual tweaks. So in Sparkle, you have this one quantity column that just fixes everything for you. If you want to know exactly what this number represents, we can go in and edit this item by double clicking on it. And here you can see that we can't change the number directly, but you see there's a small button here. You can see the settings that decides the value for this cell. We can change this to the gross area if we want to. Click link, click OK, and we can see that the number has updated. When you're using quantities for cell values, it's actually possible to visualize them directly simply by clicking on this number here. Sparkle will visualize exactly how this number came to be. So let's see how we can add some more data to our table. Let's say that we both want to show the net area and the gross area in the same table. In Sparkle, this is really easy. Just select any element and find the net area calculation. And you can simply drag and drop to the plus column here. Click confirm. And Sparkle has now calculated the net area for all the linked elements. Easy as pie. This is possible to do with text data as well, of course. So simply just drag any data that you want to have here. Make sure that some values is not turned on when you're using text. And we can see that Sparkle has now extracted the level for all the linked elements. So remember, it's always the linked elements for your items that determines what the values will be. The last thing I want to show you regarding quantities and data is the breakdown feature. So it's very common to want to have separate lines in your tables for, let's say, a wall type, wall thickness, or even the floor that the wall is residing. And this is exactly what the breakdown feature can help you with. So to break down an item, first select it and find the breakdown by button here. You can see that this item is actually already broken down by element slash name. So what does that mean? When an item has been broken down, you can see this arrow button here. So if I click this, you can see that it's already listing the different wall types existing. So all we have to do to break down this item by layer, for instance, is just select our item, change this breakdown here to layer. And then Sparkle has broken down these internal walls based on the layer. When it comes to assigning properties to your columns or breaking down by properties, once again, Copilot can do that for you. Net area of slabs by floor 
And now, if we look at the quantity column here, you can see that the copilot has chosen the net area. And if we break down, you can see that it's already been broken down by level. So being comfortable with working with quantities and data in Sparkle is essential to create the tables that you want.